Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to see how to highlight duplicates in Excel using VBA macros. And this is a very simple macro, but it will help you learn a few things if you are, if you are a beginner. Um, so we, we're going to have a macro with just one loop, one condition or if a statement, and one uh, work work worksheet function using the worksheet object. So I have here some data. And what we want to check is if there are any duplicates as per the uh, employee ID number. So there are some employee IDs here that has been given some access. Uh, and it's, again, just a very um, short data set, so just a few rows. But this could work in the same way if we have uh, many, many rows. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a new module. And that's a standard module. Here we'll have our macro. I'm going to call it Highlight Duplicates. So we are just going to declare one variable here, which is going to be cell. And, and cell is, is just the name of the variable. Uh, it does nothing to do with, with the cells property or cells object. I call it cell because we're going to loop through each cell in, in a range or in the selection, actually. So, um, so that will be declared as a, as, an ob as a range object. OK, we could have called it C or, I don't know, range cell or whatever. Now we will start a loop. So for each cell in selection, and selection is whatever we will select in, in the worksheet. Now we have only one cell selected. Uh, so select, selection works as a, as, a range, as a range. And for this type of macros, we can use selection. We can use a particular range if you know you have the data in that range. Or you can use also current region. Um, I think we've seen it that in some other video. Uh, so if you want to just click on one um, cell and select all the, all the data around, you use the current region. But in this case, we're going to use um, selection because we want to select only column A. So now, if, and now we're going to have this if statement, this, this condition, using the worksheet function object. And the worksheet function object has all the Excel built-in functions. So if the worksheet function dot, and we will use the count count if function. You might be familiar with this function if you, if you are an Excel uh, user. And if in selection we have um, the cell value in the selection, if we count it and is greater than one, it means there is more than one. So it's duplicate. So then, in this case, we are going to highlight it. We, we could actually delete it also. It depends what we want to do, right? So we say cell, this particular cell that is, is um, du duplicated. Uh, we're going to change the interior color. Interior color to yellow. And we end the if statement. But as I said, we could, um, in this case, we, we highlight the color. But we could remove it uh, with the delete um, method. So we would use cell.delete. Or we can um, write some, some other text in that, in that uh, cell, whatever we want. I mean, whatever we want to do, we just put it here. And finally, we go to the next cell. And that's our macro, very short, very easy. Um, so let's just see how it works. Um, we need to select. Um, a range. So I will select this range. We could select the whole column. Um, and then we can play it from here. And there we go. It found three um, duplicates here, three IDs that were given uh, different accesses. And that's how we. Um, that's how we highlight duplicates in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching. 